Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Jeremy from Whistle Kick. And as you can see, I'm driving. If you've watched or listened to the show for long, you know that I travel a lot for work, Whistle Kick stuff, and I will frequently do. I can't even say frequently. I will occasionally do these episodes with a GoPro mounted on the dash of the car. Often as I'm driving home behind a very, very slow Buick, apparently. I'm doing 20 miles an hour right now. 17. Not sure why. Oh, because they decided they needed to turn, but they weren't sure how. Okay, good job. They found their blinker. Yay! Alright, cool. So, I apologize for the digression. Today, I wanted to talk about this amazing weekend I just had. And why it was amazing because it the amazingness came from something that I don't know that I've ever talked about and that is the friendships that I've built in the martial arts so let me give you a rundown of the weekend of this incredible amount of driving and martial arts that's been going on so those of you that know I live in central Vermont and on Friday afternoon, my good friend, my brother, Master Brendan Goodall, picked me up at my house and we drove to Manchester, New Hampshire, to Master Terry Dow, to his school, where Bill Superfoot Wallace showed up and taught for three hours. He was feeling good. Now, who was there? Mr. Paul Milholm. Kyoshi Rob Buckland and a number of other people who haven't been on the show but I've become oh Kyosa Dennis Campo anybody else that's been on the show uh Crew John Johnston I think that's it for guests but other people that I know friends I got to train but I got to train with friends I got to hang out with these people I got wonderful time in the car with Brendan as we drove. And it was great. It was a wonderful time, great training. But as I look back on it, as much as the, the three hours of training, we did train for three hours, it was crazy, was fun. What I'm going to remember a few weeks from now and certainly years from now isn't the training. It's the time I got to spend with these people that I adore, that I truly love. Then I go home, go to bed, get up a few hours later, drive to Lebanon, New Hampshire for a competition. It was the championship event, the final event of the Twin State, Vermont, New Hampshire, martial arts circuit, promoted by Master Hughes and Alexander, episode one. Uh, and who was there? So, has anybody else that's been on the show there? There are people I've invited on the show, but they have not come on the show yet. Oh, um, Toshi Jose DiMacali was there. So I had wonderful conversations with him, with a handful of others. Got to interact with some great people working a ring. Got to help some kids out with some stuff. Just had a great day. And then I go out, have lunch with a friend of mine, a young woman who will be, if everything goes right, joining Team Whistlekick for 2019. So we were talking about some logistics, some specifics there. And then after she and I were done, a number of the folks from the team were at the same restaurant. So I went and I hung out with them for a bit. And we weren't talking about martial arts. We were just enjoying being there with each other. And I think one of the things that we forget as martial artists is that our relationships in and out of martial arts are generally based on some kind of common ground. That common ground usually has to do with geography, but it also has to do with the way you see the world. Martial artists, we see the world in a certain way because we tend to be attracted to certain things. We tend to be a little more pro self-defense and I'll let you run with that however you choose 
but we have that common ground, so it tends to lead to friendships. Most of the martial artists I know have a lot of friends in the martial arts. If you think of the people that you train with, you are probably friends with a higher percentage of those people than the overall other people that you know. So that was Saturday. Saturday I got in the car and I drove to Northern Maine where I spent some time with folks that I am hoping will come on the show at some point. My original karate instructors, Beth and John Miller. Now other people showed up. People I hadn't seen in a very long time. People that I used to train with at that school back in the 90s. And because of that common ground of training together, having sweat together, bled together, learning from the same people, learning the same things, you have that foundation, you have that relationship. And it's something that not everyone gets to experience in their lives. When I think about the people that I know that are not martial artists, when they talk about the friendships that they have, they're usually talking about them as circumstantial. I hear a lot of people talk about how they become friends with their children's friends, parents. Okay, that's cool, but that almost sounds more out of convenience oftentimes than anything else. Not to say it's not beneficial, not to say that that's not relevant, but when you get to experience something, something that is so deeply personal, so for many people transformative as martial arts, you have a different kind of bond with people. And whether they're people you train with or people that you don't train with, but maybe you get to meet later on. We as martial artists have something very special that most of the rest of the world never gets to experience. So I hope you, as more than likely a martial artist, will take some time out and acknowledge how lucky you are because you know other martial artists. great thing to share that bond with other people. So I just wanted to point that out because I'm feeling really, really happy about my martial arts friends right now. So that's all I got. You can head on over to whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. Check out the other episodes. If you want to see all the video episodes, in fact, we've got all the episodes up on YouTube. We generally title ones with video as video episode. You'll also usually see a different thumbnail for those. I don't know how many of these I've done. They tend to come out on Thursday. They're a little shorter and of course they don't have another person. If you want to check out our products, you can find them on whistlekick.com. You can find most of them on Amazon. We've got new stuff coming all the time. Oh, and don't forget the code podcast15. That'll save you 15% on any of the products at whistlekick.com so you can use that over there that's all I got uh, am I missing anything? oh you can email me jeremy at whistlekick.com and you can find us on social media at whistlekick I hope you have a great rest of your day until next time train hard smile and have a great day